Hello, and thank you for your interest in the bioceramic root canal sealer and root repair material. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to three revolutionary endodontic products that have been available in North America for the past five years and are now being introduced globally. These three products are the bioceramic sealer, the root repair material, and the putty. During this short presentation, you will understand how recent advancements in material science have changed the way we do endodontics and how this change is improving the quality and efficiency of endodontic care. First, let's ask the following question. What are bioceramics? Bioceramics are a family of bioactive glasses that have been available in orthopedic medicine for the past 40 years. These compound endodontic applications have only recently been realized. Bioceramic based cements have superior qualities compared to the past generation of root canal cements. These properties include the following. First, bioceramics are highly biocompatible. They are very antibacterial. They are dimensionally stable and do not shrink. They bond chemically to dentin. They are hydrophilic. They do not resorb after setting. And last but not least, the endosequence sealer available to you now is premixed in a syringe and is ready for use without any mixing. The first bioceramic material on endodontics was MTA and more recently biodentine. I'm sure you've heard of them. MTA was very promising and completely replaced amalgam as the better retrofilling agent. However, both MTA and biodentin had unfavorable clinical handling properties and were difficult to apply to the surgical site. Furthermore, the particle size for both materials was too large to be used as a sealer. But with the creation of the endosequence BC sealer, we now have, for the first time, a true bioceramic sealer. The superior physical properties of bioceramics, in conjunction with the advancements in technology, have allowed the uh, development of these three endosequence bioceramic compounds. Okay, let me introduce you to these three products. The first product is a root canal sealer. This product comes pre-mixed in a syringe and is used during non-surgical root canal obturation and replaces the older generation of sealers. In North America, it is called the endosequence BC sealer. The next product is the syringable form of the endosequence root repair material, also called RRM. Like the sealer, the RRM comes premixed in a syringe but is more viscous and therefore more resistant to washout. This is particularly helpful during surgery where the cement comes in contact with blood and can potentially wash out of the preparation. Finally, the third product is the putty formulation of the endosequence root repair material. The putty is the most viscous of all three and comes in a jar. It can be manipulated by hand very easily. Now let's examine each of these materials and their clinical applications more closely. Okay, just to review, this picture shows the three different formulations of the endosequence bioceramic based root canal cements I have been talking about so far. You can also see a wheel of matching gutta percha cones for non surgical root canal obturation. I will talk about this gutta percha in a moment. The product on the far left of the screen is the BC sealer, which is short for bioceramic sealer. The sealer is used for root canal obturation in conjunction with the bioceramic coated gutta percha cones you see here. The endosequence gutta percha cones are not ordinary gutta percha cones. These constant tapered cones are very precisely manufactured and come in either 06 or 04 tapers. 
These cones are stiffer than normal gutta percha cones and are made of a higher molecular weight gutta percha. This gives them some strength and stiffness that is important for the hydraulic condensation technique we use with BC sealer. But what makes these cones special is not their precise taper or stiffness. What makes them special is that they have been coated with a 2 micron thick layer of bioceramic compounds and active glass particles that bond to the bioceramic cement chemically. As a result, the surface of these gutta percha cones is, in fact, active. The gutta percha bonds to the sealer and the sealer bonds to the dentinal walls. This creates the best available technique for obturation since none of the current obturation systems on the market can deliver a true bonded obturation. Let me repeat this. There are no obturation systems on the market at the present time whereby the cement bonds to dentin and to the gutta percha cone chemically. The endosequence obturation system is the first of its kind. This is why a recent independent study showed that this active bonding between the walls and the gutta percha resulted in teeth that were almost as resistant to fracture after root canal therapy as they were before root canal therapy. Now that's truly remarkable. The other product to the right is the root repair material. The root repair material and BC sealer are almost the same thing, except that the RRM is more viscous and resistant to washout. This is useful during surgery or repair of root defects, such as perforations. The root repair material putty is a much thicker formulation than can be manipulated by hand and turned into a cone. Making a cone out of this material allows for its use during surgical procedures, especially during apicoectomy or perforation repair. All three formulations of this bioceramic are highly biocompatible and bond to dentin. As a result of these three different consistencies and delivery methods, these three products have a wide spectrum of use in both non-surgical and surgical endodontics. In non-surgical endodontics, bioceramic sealer can be used in conjunction with the endosequence sealer for conventional root canal obturation. The root repair material and the putty can both be used for pulp capping. The technique is that you place a thin layer of root repair material or the putty on the exposed pulp and then place a thin layer of glass ionomer on top of that. Then you bond a composite to the glass ionomer using the sandwich technique. You need to place the glass ionomer because the material does not set fast enough to bond a composite to it. The setting time for this material ranges from one to three hours with the putty setting the fastest and the sealer setting the slowest. The putty and the root repair material can also be used for both one-step epixification cases as well as perforation repairs. The surgical use of bioceramics is primarily in apicoectomies followed by repair of resorptive defects on the roots as well as surgical repair of root perforations. This product has truly revolutionized the apicoectomy procedure by making it more efficient and more predictable. Now let's first talk about the non-surgical application of the BC sealer using a block. After preparation of the block using a rotary instrument, the constant tapered gutta percha cone, in this case a size 3504, is fitted. The bioceramic sealer is injected into the dispensing tip, a file, preferably your master apical file, is then coated with the BC sealer, and then it is inserted gently into the canal to the full working length and rotated counterclockwise. This ensures coating of the sealer on the canal walls. The same thing is repeated with the master file. 
and then the cone is slowly inserted to full working length. This allows hydraulic condensation of the sealer into place. At higher magnification, you can see the close adaptation of the gutta percha to the canal walls. Any remaining space is filled with the sealer, which in this case acts as the filler. The reason you can do this is because the sealer is non-resorbable and it can fill these gaps without any shrinkage while it is bonding to the dentinal wall and the surface of the gutta percha. The following video demonstrates the hydraulic condensation technique as developed by Real World Endo. This is the case of a maxillary right canine tooth. Following instrumentation with the endo sequence uh, instrumentation system, a size 60 endo sequence gutta percha cone is fitted to 26 millimeters, which is the working length of this tooth. After drying the canal, bioceramic sealer is dispensed into the dispensing tip, and the master apical file is then dipped into the dispensing tip of the syringe. And after full coating, it is inserted into the canal to full working length and rotated in a counterclockwise direction. This facilitates the coating of the canal in a very clean and predictable manner. After coating the canal with the endo sequence master file, the master cone is also in a similar fashion coated with the bioceramic sealer and slowly seated all the way to working length. The Endo Pro 270 is then used to sear off the gutta percha cone at the RFS level. A condenser of appropriate size, in this case a size 10 plugger, is used then to condense the gutta percha cone apically. Following condensation, ultrasonic and water is used to clean the remaining debris on the walls. Care should be taken not to disturb the gutta percha with the ultrasonic, but rather to only touch the dentin walls. A provisional is then placed in the axis opening or the core could be placed at that time. This shows the final radiograph following obturation with the endo sequence by ceramic sealer and gutta percha. Okay, now that we've had a chance to look at the clinical application of bioceramics, as well as demonstration of their use in a plastic block, let's take a moment to look at some micro CT scans that were done by Dr. Adam Lloyd of University of Tennessee. In this particular study, Dr. Lloyd prepared canals with a constant taper rotary file preparation and obturated them with matching endo sequence gutta percha cones and bioceramic sealer. Following each step of the way, micro CTs were performed and the analysis of the cleanliness of the canal as well as the flow of the bioceramic into various areas of the canal were analyzed. The purple color in this animation demonstrates the fit of the endo sequence gutta percha cone in this canal. And the gold collar demonstrates the hydraulic flow of the bioceramic sealer into different webbing and the different parts of the canal anatomy. Next, I would like to show you the sectioning of a C-shaped mandibular second molar that demonstrates the flow of the bioceramic sealer into the root canal anatomy with the use of hydraulic condensation. The following case demonstrates the very same flow of the sealer in a clinical situation. This mandibular second molar was treated endodontically. The tooth was found to have a C-shaped root canal anatomy. Three main cones were cemented into place. However, the tooth was found to be cracked and was therefore extracted. 
This allowed a unique opportunity to check the flow of the sealer in a case that was done inside the mouth. Following the extraction of the tooth, the apex was ground using a burr, and the flow of the bioceramic sealer and its relationship to the master gutta cone was examined. As you can see, grinding of the apex showed a very clear presence of a gutta cone in the center of the canal and a rim of sealer that was well bonded to the root. Further up the canal, as the C-shaped anatomy became more clear, it was very obvious the sealer had flowed into different areas of the canal with a very close adaptation to the canal walls. As you can see here in these areas with the arrows, the sealer had reached deep crevices in the canal. This video demonstrates the surgical application of this material as a root repair material. This mandibular first molar was referred for apicoectomy due to a chronic abscess around the mesial roots. You can see the two treated canals in the mesial root and the periapical radiolucency. Following surgical access to this area and apicoectomy, the two infected canals can be visualized. A piezoelectric ultrasonic is used to prepare three millimeter deep retroperforations in each canal. Visualization of the area with the aid of an operating microscope reveals the presence of an isthmus between the two canals. The piezoelectric ultrasonic is then used to connect the two canals and prepare the isthmus. Once the retroperforation is complete, root repair material is injected into the perforations using a small syringe tip with a bent angle. It is important to place the tip deep inside the retroperforation to avoid trapping a void or a bubble. After injection of the lighter body root repair material, small cones made of the putty material are gently inserted into the retroperforations. The putty is denser and prevents the root repair material from getting washed out. Several cones are cemented into place. The roll is sealing the surface of the preparation and preventing washout of the root repair material with blood. Excess putty and other bioceramic material can be brushed off using a microbrush. The debris can then be washed out very gently using sterile saline. This is something that was not previously possible with MTA since the material would wash out of the site if water was used to wash the area. This is the immediate post-operative radiograph showing a dense bioceramic retrofill at the apex of both mesial roots as well as the connecting isthmus. The one-year follow-up radiograph shows complete healing of the radiolucency with bone with no clinical symptoms. This is very exciting time for endodontic obturation. It is the first time in history that we have a biological root canal sealer that is non-toxic and yet antibacterial. It's dimensionally stable, is hydrophilic, and bonds to dentin. Now that's truly remarkable. These are some of the reasons why this material and the hydraulic condensation technique as developed by Real World Endo is the fastest growing obturation technique in North America. I hope this presentation helped you better understand the endosequence bioceramic cement and its potential applications during surgical and non-surgical root canal obturation. This material has exceptional properties and its biological properties can help you 
achieve better quality results more efficiently. I have incorporated the endosequence BC sealer in my clinical practice over the past five years with great results. Having performed over 4,000 cases using this hydraulic condensation technique with bioceramic sealer, I'm confident in recommending it to you for its superior results. For Real World Endo, I'm Ali Nisei, and I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.